Good morning. Thanks for being here with me. My name is Adam Atwell with Kite Technology Group, and I'm here today to talk to you about Microsoft Bookings. Bookings is one of Microsoft's applications that's included in the 365 suite. And bookings can help you easily book your appointments um, as you move along throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout your month, throughout your year. And uh, bookings is available to you free inside of your Microsoft 365 subscription. You can see here that the Microsoft bookings uh, page here, the landing page, you can go and get more additional information. Um, this is kind of what uh, managing a booking looks like on your phone. We scroll down a little bit, you can see this is uh, what the landing page looks like and we'll go over that. And then lastly, you can even see your appointments inside of uh, Teams as things come together. So that's great. All right, so let's get started. Uh, starting off, you can just click on uh, portal.office.com or office.com, log in, and you'll be able to click on your apps tab. You should be able to find bookings here, but if you can't click the all apps, and just start to type bookings there. After you do that and click on it, it will land you here in the main page. Now, somebody in your organization may have already created a bookings like I have, or you can go along and you can uh, create a new one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one so we can see it from scratch. And we're gonna just say um, tips and tricks example. That's great. Um, it's going to ask us what kind of business type it is where IT support. So we'll do that. And then we have business hours here that are Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5. I want to change those hours up just a little bit, say starting appointment, maybe at 9.30. And then I'll back this up and say 4 o'clock. Great. And then I'll say next. Um, you can see here that it does ask you if you want to invite anybody else. Um, an invited person will have a team member role by default. Um, I'm going to go ahead and invite Daniel Gilbert and Jason Goble. Uh, these are uh, folks that are a part of my team. And you can see here, these are different roles that folks can have inside of it. We'll go ahead and just make those team members. Uh, and then you can see here, um, you can add more services as you go along. But the initial service, it's calling it an IT support session. And it's giving it a service of 30 minutes. And that's great. Um, we could also extend it or um, go ahead and change the name. So I'll change this name to consult. And I'll just say update. And you can see now there's a service called consult. 30 minutes. We'll hit next. And then who can book appointments? Uh, anyone. Um, no self-service. And so you can only schedule appointments from the bookings app itself if you take this route. Um, people inside your organization as kind of an internal service page or anyone. So we're going to make this an anyone facing. After we've done that, um, you'll see it'll take a moment or two. And it's going to go ahead and create a bookings page for us. Okay, great. So it's saying tips and tricks is now ready to go and take bookings. Let's go ahead and click the link and we'll open it up so we can see. So great. Here you can see that um, you can see exactly what bookings are available. And um, if we click on consult and then we click on 1030, it does give me the ability to make a choice between any of the staff members that are here. So I'll look out for Friday and I'll say, okay, I want to grab Adam. And it looks like Adam is available around 1030. Beautiful. Um, so you can see this is just the main page. You can drop down here and you can fill in your information for booking. I'll click book. And then we can see it does go ahead and create a booking. Now that I've done that, we can also go through and reschedule things. Um, we can go ahead and uh, cancel the booking or create a new booking. Let's go into the actual bookings uh, page here and kind of see what's going on. So you can see here, as we're looking out at the bookings availability, we can kind of see you know, who all is here, which is great. Um, let's go into the booking page itself and let's kind of see what uh, different things we can customize. So the first one is um, that you know, the business uh, access control. 
And so you can go ahead and disable direct searching on the search engines. Uh, you can also request a one-time password to be created. I'll show you what that looks like here after we save this change. Uh, let's look at customer consent. Um, do we want to go ahead and sh uh, show personal data collection and use its consent? Um, that's not necessary for what we're doing. There are some policies here that um, you can see. We can say, hey, we want this to be at least a day out, no more than a year out. Um, I'm going to actually set this to 60 days, no more than 60 days out. Uh, 30 minute time increments, which is great. Um, you can see here, uh, it says notify the business via email when the booking is created. We also want to send a meeting invite, uh, definitely. And then uh, it does give us the option to allow folks to choose if they want to select a different staff person, which is great. Um, and then general availability when um, it says general availability is bookable when staff are free or we can create custom hours. So we'll go ahead and minimize that. And then you'll also look down here, it says customize your page. So if we extend this out, um, they do have the classic look and feel or they have the new look and feel. Uh, the new look and feel I kind of like better. Um, so I'll go ahead and just kind of do that. I'll select this maroon, which is uh, part of what you know our business uh, color is. And then I'll go ahead and uh, collapse that and then just check the time zone settings. So it does give you the ability to always show time slots in the business time zone. If you don't check this box, it will show whatever time zone the uh, customer is in. So now that we've done that, we'll go ahead and hit save again. So now all the settings that we just took are saved. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna refresh uh, this page. And so, You'll notice that already the uh, the visual looks a little bit different. And if you ask me, I think it looks a little bit better. Um, sorry, let me go ahead and click this again. And so when we come in here, we can see now that we have this tics, tips and tricks example, right? Um, we can go ahead and uh, again choose you know a specific person, right? Um, so we can go ahead and say here, that's great. And then if we go to book time. Um, at 10 a.m. with Adam, you know, it's going to ask us for our details. We'll give it those. When we click book now, you will notice that we get this verification uh, code requirement. And so I'll have to dig into my email. And inside of my email, uh, you will notice that I do get this um, verification email message. There it is. So it does say, hey, you know, we do want to verify this. So that's great. I'll take that out and paste it in. And then I'll go ahead and say continue. Now that I've done that, you can see that it does go ahead and confirm the booking. And I'll get that in um, my calendar, which is great. So let me show you one other thing that we can do. And that's take this uh, bookings and bring it into Teams. So right here inside of Teams, you can see, and by the way, um, this is an example of what comes via email. This is great. There's your booking. Awesome. And a calendar. Great. So then um, you can see here now, if we look inside of bookings um, on my calendar, you can see um, I have this thing called schedule. So if I click here, I can say, show me an existing booking calendar. And I'm going to start to type for tips. And I'm looking for it searching. It's not finding it. So I'm going to kind of look in here a little bit. Now it does look like maybe the one that I created isn't here yet. So it might need a few minutes uh, to go and uh, bring this in. Uh, view all bookings. There it is. Tips and, and tricks, which is great. So if I click that and click done, um, and I just added this, by the way, by clicking on apps, right? And I said bookings, did a search in there, and then I just went ahead and clicked add it. Now, since I've already added it, it's already here for me. And so right up here, you can see now from the schedule view, I can see these three resources schedule all together, which is great. 
If we come in, uh, we can also go to the queue view. From the queue view, we don't have any booked appointments for today, but if we go out a little bit, we could see here on Friday, I do have two different meetings. Now, if I'm kind of, think of this as a like a doctor or something like that, if you're booking virtual appointments, you can actually from here, just click join, 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 and go straight into those meetings, which is great. In addition to that, from the schedule view, if you come in here, you can see here, these are the consults that have been, uh, been built out too. So I can just click this and I can see these right away. And uh, from there, I could you know, update appointments and those kinds of things. I could also send text messages, which is great. You know, and um, you can see, you can get reminders and uh, uh, check this box to say they've consented if they have. Oh, it's just great. So that's just a little bit about bookings. I'll close it out with one other thing. If you go back here, you can go to business information and you can add a logo. So uh, we'll see if we can uh, just go through here and see if we can find a quick picture. Um, I'll go to documents, um, OneDrive rather, uh, pictures, and I actually have a uh, circle. I'll say save. That's great. I'll say save again. And now when I come back in here, if I, uh, you know, do a new booking, you can see here it updates uh, my picture at the very top. So that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on uh, bookings, and I hope you find it useful uh, for your organization as well. Okay, till next time. Take care.